y'all, Bill D. Hall of Fame Collector here, and I will be at the National, and I am horrible with names. So if you come across me, just uh, pinch me, push me, get my attention, let me know who you are. I mean, Mike Baseball Collector, you can walk two feet in front of me, and I will have no idea who you are. So again, um, and that's someone I, I've met, you know, multiple times. So again, I'm going to have either on my backpack or on my head, my Back to the Future hat. So I should be recognizable. Uh, so if you guys are there, hopefully I'll see you there. All right, guys, this is my probably last video uh, before the National. It's been two weeks since I've posted a video, which is pretty long for me, been very busy. And I think the same is gonna be uh, the case after the national just way too busy with life stuff going on however uh i wanted to get this video in again i will be at the national and i will be rocking the back to the future hat so probably will be the only one there with one so if you see it just you know say hi tell me who you are and uh that you watch my channel so uh hopefully uh there's something there for me we will we will see anyways um What's going on here? Well, these are uh, three Tony Gwynn cards here from the 90s, I guess, you know, 94 to 01 that I've had and I've shown off. And uh, of course, a Greg Maddox uh, 8x10 studio card. Uh, but uh, yeah, Gwynn, um, you know, doing the Maddox collection, um, I've actually, uh, you know, wanted to have a second player to PC from the 90s. Uh, primarily, you know, for getting the cards that Maddox isn't in, but just nice to have a, a batter card. And, you know, Maddox, to m in my opinion, is the greatest pitcher of that era, the greatest natural pitcher of that era. And uh, I wholeheartedly believe that Tony Gwynn is the greatest natural hitter of that era. So uh, I was naturally drawn to Tony Gwynn. I actually, he was on my short list of people to collect about two years ago when I started the 90s. Um, I had a Finest the Man, in fact. It was one of my first 90s cards, and uh, I, the Refractor, and I just wound up selling it. So I will get that card back at some point. Um, but let me show off some Gwyn cards that I've purchased in the last few months or so. Um, really nice ones. All right, this first one here is from 1997 Donruss. This is called the Power Alley, and these are quite popular. Um, here it is here. They make a generic non die cut version of this beautiful card. Um, and they're, they're numbered out of 4,000. Love the green foil as well to match. Uh, however, the first 250 are, are die cut. So this is number 103. This is the die cut, which means the other 3,750 are not die cut. Some players have blue and some players uh, are in gold. All right, here this term mentioned commonly, uh, the poor man's PMG. Um, in uh, The PMG pattern is a, just an amazing pattern. It really should have been used more often. The 98 PMG I'm talking about. Uh, but this is the uh, in 2000 Upper Deck SPX used that foil in their parallel, the Radiance parallel. And um, I don't have the Maddox. But uh, now I have the Gwyn, and look at this thing shine. You can kind of tell it's kind of alive, right? So this is the Radiance Parallel, and uh, they're also not that easy to get. They're serial number to 100. All right, this next card here is also Pure Fire. I wish, um, actually, I don't wish. Maddox is in the set. I just uh, wish I had the Maddox. Um, again, like I wish I had that one. Maddox is not in that one. But this is from 1997. Fleer Diamond Tribute. And I kid you not, when you get in the sun, this card is alive. Uh, it's a mix of uh, like an embossment. Um, so you can kind of see the embossed ripples. And then the hollow foil. It's just an amazing card in the sunlight. Um, you can kind of see some of the die cut the uh, emboss action there this card is crazy awesome uh one in 288 packs one in 3456 next to that take you to the year 2000 
and Pacific. Um, just two really nice parallels. This is the, uh, I guess it's called the Copper Parallel. Uh, nice squint hole of the baseball there. Copper Parallel, number to 99. And then this one here, which is incredible, super low numbered. Uh, this is the Premier Date Parallel. Look at the number, 37. That's number 10 out of 37, so I got the 99 and the 37. Same here, uh, they actually uh, did a, uh, that was a portrait shot, and they actually had a, an action shot as well. And I have the platinum blue of the uh, action shot, and that is to 75. All right, here's another card that I uh, don't have the Maddox of. This happens to be uh, 1996 Leaf Signature Series. This is um, Series 2. This is the first year they did the sig uh, Signature Series, the full on-card autograph set. So it's a, kind of a monumental type of set. And this is just a beautiful Tony Quinn. The autograph is like spot on. Uh, just really happy to get this one here. Tony Quinn. All right, we got this one here too from uh, 2001 Pacific, the Gold Crown Die Cuts. Pretty nice card here. This is the Blue Crown, uh, which is actually a parallel. And that is number 200. And it's got the fancy eBay one of one, 100 of 100. And last, another card here that Maddox uh, is in, but I don't have had a couple opportunities to get it real cheap I'm just not gonna you know spend twice as much um, buy it now and that is this card from 1995 it is an amazing card actually when it came in I was like man I really ought to get the Maddox and that is the 95 Zenith Z team this card is a Dufex technology uh, it's actually gorgeous um, actually surprised me I didn't think I was gonna like it um, the back is actually pretty nice too. It's got this like foil uh, look to it here. Just a really nice card. This was the hardest uh, card in that set there. One in 72 packs to get a player to 18 cards in the set. I need the Maddox. Check out what I've been selling guys. This is literally a decade plus of mail days and uh, used top loaders and mags all separated out by points. Those are all mags and screw downs and one touches and on this side, uh, just I've been selling everything on eBay, just lots of this stuff, obviously with the plastic prices and stuff like that. I have a little hidden gold mine here, so uh, this has been keeping me busy for a while, um, selling some uh, card supplies. Pretty crazy to think uh, you can make some good money doing this.